Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting equation 2 to the power x plus x equal to 4. We need to solve this equation for x, so if you have your solution you can write your solution in the comments below and then we will check our answers. So right now let's start. First of all let's subtract x from both sides. As a result on the left side we're gonna get 2 to the power x and on the right side we will have 4 minus x. So we just subtract x from both from both sides. Right now for better understanding let's swap position. Let's write this 4 minus x on the left side 2 to the power x on the right side. So let's do this. So we have 4 minus x on the left side and 2 to the power x on the on the right side. Okay so I hope you understand this first step. The next thing we're gonna do we're gonna divide both sides by 2 to the power x. Okay by 2 to the power to the power x. 2 to the power x is not equal to 0, so we can easily, without any problems, we can easily divide it by 2 to the power x. So let's do this right now. On the left side we have 4 minus x, we're gonna divide by 2 to the power x. And on the right side we have 2 to the power x, we're gonna divide it by 2 to the power x. But on the right side we have the same numerator and denominator, so we can easily, we can easily cancel it. As a result we have only one on the, on the right side. On the left side 2 to the power x we can write in our numerator, but you need to know a really important property when you write, for example, when you have 1 over a to the power b, when you want to write it in your numerator you need to change the power to the opposite one, so a to the power minus b. So let's write this 2 to the power x in our in our numerator. So let's do this. So this is our fourth step. This we need to write in parentheses, okay, so we have 4 minus x and on the second position I'm going to write this 2 to the power minus x, okay, 2 to the power minus x and equal to equal to 1. Okay, so I really hope you understand this, uh, this step, basic algebraic algebraic steps. Okay, so right now let's swap position. So 4 minus x we can write as minus x plus 4. For better understanding let's do this. 4 minus x we can write as minus x plus 4. So it changed nothing, we just uh, swap positions. Okay, let's do this. So we have right here minus x minus x plus 4 plus 4 times 2 to the power minus x and equal to equal to 1. Okay, so I really hope you, you understand these manipulations. What we're gonna do next? Right now let's multiply both sides by a 2 to the power 4. Let's do this, okay? Let's multiply both sides by 2 to the power 4. Let's see what will happen. But this 2 to the power 4, I'm, I want to write on this third position, not right here in the beginning, but right here in this uh, third position after 2 to the power minus x. So let's do this. We have right here minus x plus 4 times 2 to the power minus x from here and of course when I multiply 2 to the power 4 I'm gonna write it right here 2 to the power 4 and of course we need to multiply our right side by 2 to the power 4 so 1 times 2 to the power 4. Right now I want you to see this expression 2 to the power minus x 2 to the power 4. We have the same base, we have multiplication but different power. This is our basic algebra property. This property looks like that. When you have for example a to the power x times a to the power y you can easily write it as a to the power x plus y. So it works perfectly with multiplication and uh, division. In our case we have exactly that, that case. So right now we can easily write it as 2 to the power minus x plus 4. Okay. So let's do this. We have right here minus x plus 4 times 2 to the power, but what power? Minus x plus 4. Minus x plus 4. This is our power. And of course equal to 2 to the power 4. We can write it as 16. Okay, as 16. And right now I want you to understand one really important moment because a lot of students might be asking why you do this, why you do the steps, because we're comparing to the beginning we have this expression. Right now we have like more complicated expression and a lot of students might be asking mister why you do this, why you multiplying. I want you to understand and to learn, maybe you don't know about this function. This function is called Lambert W function. This function looks like that. So when you have expression with this structure like a times e to the power a, when you apply Lambert W function to this expression, as a result this expression equal to equal to a. So for example you have like 2 times e to the power 2. When you apply uh, Lambert W function to this expression, this expression is equal to is equal to 2. So the key moment you need to have like the same expression right here and the same expression as a power of e. And that's why I do all of these all of these steps. And right now let's look closely what do we have exactly in our expression because we have minus x plus 4 and we have minus x plus 4. So that's why I do these steps multiplying, dividing and right now we have the same expression right here and the same expression right here. But we need to have e. This is like the trickiest moment 
do we need to have E right here? We have two. So if you look closely, it looks like the same structure, but without E. So how can we create this E? So instead of this two, according to a log property, like natural log, let's use natural log, two equal to e to the power nature log 2. Okay, according to a log mm, definition, according to a log property, we can easily change this 2 by e to the power nature log 2. Let's see what will happen. So let's start on the left side. So we have minus x plus 4, so minus x plus 4 times, instead of this 2, I'm going to write this one, e to the power nature log 2. So e to the power nature log 2. And of course, don't forget about this power minus x plus 4. Okay, minus x plus 4 equal to equal to 16. Okay, right now let's look closely what we have. We have this structure a to the power x raised to the power y. You need to know from school this like the basic uh, power rule when you have a to the power x raised to the power y, you need to multiply a to the power x times a to the power x times y. So right now let's apply this rule right here at this place. We need to multiply nature look to by this power. Okay, let's do this. So we have minus x plus 4 times e to the power nature look 2 times minus x plus 4 nature look 2 times minus x plus 4 equal to equal to 16 okay so i really hope you uh, you understand it and the final tricky move because right now let's scan what do we have right here we have e and we need to have the same expression right here and right here just to apply lambert w function so let's scan what do we have in our in our expression we have e and that's great we need to have we need to have e right now we have minus x plus 4 and we have minus x plus 4 times nature look 2 so two completely different expression but what we need to do we need to multiply both sides by nature look 2 and then we're going to get the same expression right here and right here. So let's multiply on both sides by nature log 2. Let's see what will happen when we multiply both sides by nature log 2. So we have nature log 2 times minus x minus x plus 4 minus x plus 4 times e to the power nature log 2 times minus x plus 4 equal to 16 times nature log 2. Okay, so we just multiplied both sides by nature log 2. And right now the final moment because we have e and we need to have e uh, to, for applying Lambert W function. We have the same expression right here, for example, just keep in mind that this is, for example, our a, this is also our a right here, so we have a times e to the power a, so the structure that we really need to apply Lambert W function. And right now, without any problems, without any doubts, let's apply this Lambert W function, which simplifies us a lot, because we have, uh, we're going to get the same expression, nature look 2 times minus x plus 4 times e to the power nature look 2 times minus x plus 4. And of course, a lot of students forget about it, but we need to apply Lambert W function on the right side as well. So we have 16, nature log 2. Right now, I really like this moment because this Lambert W function simplifies us a lot, this expression, because we have uh, this uh, expression that we really need to apply Lambert W function. And after all this simplification, after knowing this uh, Lambert W function definition, we can skip all of this and write only this a. So from here, we have only nature log 2 uh, times minus x plus 4, minus x plus 4, and, uh, and write this one, Lambert W function of 16 nature log 2. Don't be scared about this uh, expression on the on the right side. This is uh, like a constant and Lambert W function of a constant is also a constant, so don't be scared about it. And right now let's solve it. Okay, first of all, let's uh, divide both sides by nature log 2. Real quick, let's do this. So dividing both sides by nature log 2. From here, what we're gonna get? We're gonna get, we cancel this natural two from left side, so we have minus x plus four, and we're gonna divide it on the right side. So lambda double function of 16 natural log two, we're gonna divide by mm, natural log two. We can't cancel it, of course, because this expression uh, we, we have in parentheses and this expression with the Lambert W function, so it's not like nature log 2 right here at this place or at this place. We can't cancel it. And right now let's find our x from here real quick. How can we find it? Of course, from here, uh, it's up to you. How can you express from here x? But x equal to 4 minus this Lambert W function. So Lambert W function, 16 uh, nature log 2 over nature log nature log 2 and a lot of students might be asking about uh, approximately answer and here's approximately answer if you plug in this 
expression on the right side from, from here, not like this one, this is a constant. If you plug in this expression in a calculator, you can easily get a value. So this is a real, real value. This is not a complex value. So it's also great that it means that we have right here approximately answer. And if you plug in it, you can also check it with me right now, or you can easily trust me. We have x equal to approximately equal to 3.86. Right now we can see a graph. You can see these uh, points of intersection from like geometry perspective. So it's also really great uh, to see it like from another perspective, not from, from algebraic perspective, but uh, you know, in 90% of cases, you can easily express everything in, L, in geometry, yeah, we have equation, we have two to the x plus x equal to four, you can express this like left side and right side, you can express in on the plot, you can see these points of intersection. So it's also really great to see uh, this question from, from geometry perspective. So let's write our final answer to this question. So I really hope you understand it. I really hope you, you learn something new, a great and basic uh, question with the lambda w function. So four minus lambda w function, 16 and nature log two over over nature log 2. This is our answer to this question. Right here, uh, this is approximately answer, but uh, I'm not sure that you're like allowed to use a calculator on your exam. And this is like a final answer if you have this type of question on your exam. You, every, everyone gonna be happy about it because we have um, a correct answer. We can't simplify this more and of course, Sometimes you you can't use a calculator on your exam, and this is like for for everyone who are interested in approximately answer. I just want to write it. This is for 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 you for when you sit in your exam. You can also leave it like that. This is a great a great answer. So thank you everyone for your time. Also write your notes, write your answer down in the comment section. What do you think about this type of question? And see you in the next videos. Have a great day. Take care of yourself.